Amitabha Buddha. Hello everyone. So today I feel like talking about how to overcome anger. So anger is one of the three poisons in Buddhism, greed, anger, and ignorance. And anger is perhaps the most detrimental poison or emotion one can experience because when one becomes really angry, one can say and do things that we're gonna regret later. So sometimes even if we think that we are entitled, we can be angry on others, but what it actually does is that it also brings violence on ourselves because when we experience anger, we experience this contraction, a contraction in our heart, or also our body feels hardened, we really don't feel good. So how we can overcome anger? So in the sutra, the Buddha told us that we can cultivate compassion towards other beings. And how exactly to do that? So it's to see the Buddha nature in others, which is also the same as our own Buddha nature. So the Buddha sees the Buddha nature in all beings. So if we can remember that even this person I'm currently holding ground against or I'm really angry with, he or she also has the same Buddha nature like I do, like all beings. So if we can cultivate a compassion and to see the Buddha nature in all beings, it's the same then it can also help us to overcome anger. But it's not that easy and we're not so enlightened yet. So sometimes it may be difficult for us to cultivate compassion towards others, to see the Buddha nature in others. So another way is also to Nianfo. By practicing Nianfo, it can also help us to cultivate compassion. So why is that? Because when we Nianfo, when we recite the name of Amitabha Buddha, we recite the name of infinite light and life which resonates with our own Buddha nature. So when we practice Nianfo, it can help us to effectively transform our thoughts. Maybe our thoughts of anger towards the thoughts of Amitabha Buddha, towards infinite light and life, towards our Buddha nature. Then we'll remember we have this Buddha nature and so are others. So this is how we can cultivate compassion towards others and also on ourselves. So Nianfo is really effective to help us transform whatever developmental states we might be experiencing in this moment to the name of Amitabha Buddha, to infinite light and life, to help us again remember our Buddha nature, which is really infinite light and light. Our Buddha nature is full of compassion. So Nianfo, actually encompasses compassion and by practicing Nianfo, it can also help us to cultivate more compassion towards others and towards ourselves. So it also requires a bit of practice. At the beginning, when we become so angry, we may not remember our Buddha nature, we may not remember Amitabha Buddha. But the more we practice Nianfo, the more we cultivate a habit of being in constant mindfulness of Amitabha Buddha, the quicker it is for us to transform these thoughts. So when we are in the frequency of infinite light and life, of course, it can help us to overcome anger, greed, ignorance, and all other poisons and defilemental states. So I hope this helps. Namo Amitabha Buddha. Namo Amitabha.